test in one, two, three. No. Anyway. Hey, what's up, everybody? It is uh, Wednesday night, almost a Friday, because I don't remember what day it was. Uh, tonight, we got a special guest. We got Bill Chino Imbel on tonight. What's up? Thanks for joining the show tonight. Appreciate you being here. Uh, we got an artist. He's very good at what he does. He's way better than I am, because I suck at drawing. And uh, I wanted to invite him because I've always admired his art. He freaking awesome. If you know who he is, you know what type of work he does. And I'm sure you've seen it on Facebook. But I wanted to get him, <clears throat> excuse me, in person to show us some of his work and talk about it. So we'll just pass it over to him right now and uh, let's go from there. Chino! What up? <laughs> Thanks for joining bro. I'm looking at the screen, I'm like, damn, dude. <laughs> <laughs> clean up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> clean up a little bit. We're going to take a barber break real quick. Yeah. Back. We, come, we come back and he's all yeah, clean. Right, he's all yeah, clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clean shaving and everything. Yeah, yeah man. Chino, like, man. Dog. Man. How you guys doing? Thanks for having me on. Thank you. Man, thanks it. for coming, bro. Man, yes, it's, it's been a minute, man. So, I, so you're, I want I want to dig right in into who and or what really inspired you as an artist to pick up that pen and, and go from there well you know as a child i'd say my very first was my pops man my dad drew and my uncle's drew like you know it's kind of like it always kind of starts at home so my dad always drew a lot of mm -hmm. comic wolverine stuff like that so mm -hmm. that's really where i picked it up yeah and um so you know, I'd say that's one of my first, and then when you you know he's buying comics, so we would go down a, a cobblestone with oh, the yeah. town, and yep, and, and really wherever we had a few, at one point, we probably had about three comic book shops in the nineties around here. So, oh yeah, we did. Yep, I remember that. So you know, we would, did that, and mm -hmm. and we would buy you know he'd buy me and my brother some comics every week, and and kind of keep up with what we had, and yeah, you know, you go from there, you're reading the stories, and you try mm -hmm. to you know you're copying what you're seeing. Um, yep. <clears throat> and you start to develop like who, who do i like you know yeah like, exactly it sucks because you know back in the back in the early you know this is probably still early 90s late 80s even and mm -hmm. uh you know there's not where i could just get out i really like jim lee back then when i saw Jim right. X -Men, I was like, I was blown away and well i can't mm -hmm. go look him up like i can now right oh uh, yeah for sure so, you know you just work with what you got in front of you uh he had a lot of coin he uh collected a uh, conan comics Mm. And so that Conan, me a lot yes. Well, so. Conan the Barbarian. Is that yeah, man. Yep. So, I don't know how that shit started. And you know, it's funny because I still watch Conan. I watched Netflix <laughs> the other day, bro. Like, that's cool. No oh, word up. Oh, that's right. That is in there. Bunch of camels and shit. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. For me, for me, I've always like enjoyed art. Like, mm -hmm. you know. Never knew how to draw, obviously. Well, I don't know if it's obvious, you know. But, you know, I don't know how to draw. <laughs> when's you know, when's, you know, when's you know, the last time you did draw? Drawing shit. No, I'm I'm drawing every day. <laughs> <laughs> I suck at drawing, just to be honest. But with you. it's always intriguing. I, I love art. Like, I, go into, I like going to our museum and stuff like that. And just seeing people's crap, man. It's mm -hmm. the different styles that different artists bring. Their signature, <clears throat> what they bring, you know what I'm saying? It's just like. Yeah, it's interesting exactly. to really see what like what look at some of the shit you're like what the fuck were they thinking? Yeah. When they made this, like what was on their mind? And then, you know, I always see like, you know, uh people try to explain art. In this picture here, yeah. What he was thinking is the love the mind is to balance out. The mind is a terrible thing to waste. Be... Yeah, exactly. It's a Wolverine, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> but just, you know, um, like the history of art, man, you know, thinking about, oh, and, Which, um, you know, uh, there was actually a meme about that. It's Did you see, ever see the one, <clears throat> the one went about the guy that said, this whole time I was thinking Pablo Picasso lived in the 1700s. He died in 1970-something. Um, right. Yeah, and I, I was like, yeah, I know, I'm like, yeah, because then I was thinking to myself, I'm like, what? You sure you're thinking of somebody else? Oh, <laughs> my first comic book was called Mr. Coffee. Mr. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I actually had a whole bunch of comic books at once. Um, with Boys and Girls Club, used to be on, uh, 
16th and River right there. It was to be the headquarters right there. Yeah. And, and I was I did a summer job program there. And so they was cleaning out all the rooms that they had occupied. And they had rooms full of comic books in boxes stacked to the ceiling. And I remember they were like, take as many as you want. I remember Man. I was nagging them, bro. I would have been there. I Dang, that would have been there. There. You know how much those were? So many yeah. comic books, bro. <laughs> Still in the cellophane packs. Oh. Uh. And freaking my bus from basement got flooded, bro. Oh. Damn. Remember our house on 16? Yeah. Right by the creek. Our beds were full of flood all the time. That was your guys' house? Yeah, that was our house. The one with um, the swimming pool. Yeah, the swimming pool and, and the they, guest house. Yeah, miss it. It was, yeah, that's like the a brick thing. house on 16th and Lincoln. The one on the corner? No, three houses and three fourths. Three on fourths. the right side? Yep, going to oh, our right by side. the creek thing. Yeah, right okay. by the creek. I know. Damn, house. I didn't know that. You, that you look confused. Uh, you don't remember Boys and Girls Club where he, it was underneath E. Fell, like the old E. Fell. Right, right, right underneath. It was like you had to go downstairs. Oh yeah. yeah okay. I was thinking. I'm like, there's no yeah. building. Now, right see there. that part is where the actual when they did the activities at, but on 16th and River was where the the office was. Mm. Oh shoot! I, I yeah. yeah. Okay, never mind. I'm thinking because I'm thinking there at 16, but you're right. I do yeah. Know. Man, I was so That's when you when college, you said bro. that I was like, where in the oh, heck is sure. it? I probably would have had. A, oh, I could have had some billions on my hand right oh, now. Oh hell yeah, dude! Like, That's, I mean, yeah. there was some great hitters in there, man. I'm like, <laughs> somebody never even heard of. I'm like, who? Who ever seen? That's just as bad as when my Jordans got sold in a freaking auction. Oh. oh. Like I had a ju- Jordan's up and sold them or what? No, I had a uh, storage unit that I was uh, I was literally two months behind and I was going to go in there and pay it. And she goes, nope, they already put it on the auction. Oh, you had the money sitting there. I had it right in my Jordan. hands to yeah, pay Yeah, those Jordan's, right? You could have probably hooked it up for a while. Exactly. Yeah. I had this, if you ever want to look it up, Scoring King's Michael Jordan card, mm-hmm. 1993, in a case sealed shut since 1993. Yeah, and I, online there. I saw it. Shit, it was somebody some, the somebody yeah it's, it's the last time i checked it it's like almost a hundred thousand dollars damn yeah hey, not even that somebody bid hey, yeah. yeah. i lost my william shakespeare poetry oh yeah i had yeah. all of william shakespeare's poetry not all, not all, all his yeah. and i had a eight oh, i had a 1793 book signed by the author Oh man, oh, you're making me sick right now. I know. I want to punch myself in the face right now. <laughs> you know, and that's what sucks. Because, like, yeah. It sounds like you're owning up to it. Like, damn, it was on me. It was my fault. Like, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I, you know, it was definitely. Moral of the story, people. I don't Pay know. storage, you know. <laughs> yeah. Don't waste your time in storage units unless you have your money. Yeah, right. Don't put down your shit in your storage there's no, unit. Yeah. There's no big to notice. Could be court up to a year. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Start selling your shit in a couple yeah, months. That's true. Yeah, 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 your shit going up a bit. Uh, I was so mad. Have you guys ever been? I've always, I've always wanted to go to one of those, man. Like, oh, gosh, you can come up. You know what? Just, my I sister, mean, I know they're there. Like, I've been to an auction, but like. My sister works at a storage unit. You can come up for real. I just, I don't know how long to have them or how often. But... You know, you you know they do it, but it's like when? Like, yeah, you know, exactly. I've been to a couple yeah. random auctions. And speaking of comic books, so I had a great experience, man. I uh-huh. went with, uh, so shout out Natural Average Nerds crew. We were all getting started at that time. And it was me, uh, Rudy, Bella, Steve, Kingpin. And okay. And my Kingpin. Juan. Oh, yeah. You Kingpin guys did. put us on game. He's like, yeah. hey, man, let's, let, we got this auction going yep. on. It was a comic book auction. Mm-hmm. I was like, you know what? I got to check this shit. You know, so we're at this comic book auction, and um, we're talking, like, just tables. Like, it's a, it's a, it's at a farmhouse, so I've just got tables, and they're doing, they're auctioning off, like, <clears throat> the expensive comic book. Okay. Yeah. And at the end of the, at the end of the show, uh, and we're, like I said, I'm talking, we're talking, like, six by six foot tables. Yeah. Just stacks, you know, on the same boxes of you know comics they would spread them out on the table yeah so after the initial auction was done you know the high money stuff blah 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 um they go to these tables and they start auctioning them out mm. and it's funny you're watching people like outbid and you know doing yeah. a little tricky shit <laughs> somebody like i saw one guy get mad like he he was auctioning he said something you know they were like you know kind of like the dude on the show like hey who you know yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I remember it got all high, and he and the guy outbids him, and it, it's honestly it wasn't that; but it was like eighty five, eighty bucks. Yeah. And the, the guy's like, "No, I'm good." And then he just goes, "Fuck!" 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, just little shit like that. Those same tables, like so. After a while, when nobody's really spending anymore, yeah. All of a sudden, these tables are going for like five bucks. Yeah. And I'm talking like the whole table. Dang oh, yeah. And so, like, I think Juan well, got a table. I got a table. Rudy, like, we all just started like, okay, well, I, I got ten on this one, and that was it. Got That's the whole cool. stack and shit, and whatever was in it, it was random. Yeah. And yeah. I remember, like, we get back. You know, and I pull out my Amazon, you start scanning, and I, I had some bangers in there, you know, and, okay, but okay. I also just got lazy with it, just <laughs> sat in the basement, I didn't even yeah. care, and then I ended up just selling them off to a friend, and oh, at man. the end of the day, so, like, oh, oh, dude, I mean, if there was, like, something in there that was very worth stupid, a lot, I'd yeah, pull it out, but, oh, yeah, for sure, but for me, it was, like, the artist to me, it was more like, I use this shit, shit for drawing, dude, I don't even care about the value, mm, of right, you know, anyway, for so. So yeah, a lot of times I'm like, "Here's my study books or whatever." Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. man, that auction was dope, though, man. Like that was a I good was, experience, man. I said I would look like myself. Like, I don't think I ever been more of those auctions and stuff like that. Um, the um, like I said, the uh, storage units, man. Because man, ah, that tears me up. My dad, my pops does that shit. Okay, man. and he. Sh- he be coming up, bro. Yeah, they're like, yeah. Hell, yeah. he be coming mm-hmm. up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, he said. He said sometimes people come in there and just fuck with you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Just ain't, ain't thinking about that storage unit, but just because they don't like you, whatever they gonna. Yeah, <laughs> they keep you going up, and then you they wait for somebody else to beat them, right? And then they, like, they, they, yeah. they back out, never intended. Don't get that storage unit at yeah. all. You yeah. know what I'm saying. But my pops have got some some real good shit out of you know what I'm saying. We actually had one of the guys off of um, what's that one from Detroit auction come? The Pawn Stars stuff. The Pawn Stars. We actually had one of them. One of them guys come into O'Reilly's. Um, he was in Holland. Uh, I, I don't know what he was doing here. I forgot something about. Oh yeah, he was buying a car from somebody here. I was going to take it over there. And so he came in O'Reilly's, and he looked familiar at first. And I was like, mm-hmm. Nah, that can't be him. And so he comes up to my. I don't know, he was in the uh, lane next to me. And he goes, to, and I heard him talking about it. So I looked over and I was like, damn, maybe that was him. So we're I'm waiting and waiting and waiting for him to finally say something. And I was like, you're off Pawn Stars, aren't you? So he's like, yeah. I was like, I knew it. I knew that's what it was. Mm-hmm. So he's like, yeah. And then he showed me pictures on his phone about the show being on the show. And, and I was like, well, what the hell are you doing over here? He's like, oh, I bought a car from a guy here in Allen. I was like, he's taking it back to Detroit with him. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Cool. That's so awesome. I was like, it was one of the, one of the shorter guys, not the main, main Wait, guy. Wait, no, not, so we're not talking about, I'm thinking of the show. Like, <laughs> the, the one in Detroit. In Vegas, right? No, the, the one, one in Detroit, Detroit was, was that, called. That older guy, right? Yeah, the yeah. older guy. Maybe it wasn't called Pawn Street. I wrote by the it, it was You know the, who I'm talking about, yeah. Because it was like a jewelry store place. Yeah, like, at first. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember that show now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he was, it was the one from Detroit. But um, the older guy. It wasn't him, but it was one of the other guys that are on the show, and he was showing me pictures of them, like filming it. And he was a bless, bless you. Salute, salute. He was uh, doing some other. St- you. Babe, you only get one bless you per month. <laughs> and it was cool. He was he was a nice guy. You know he was yeah. <laughs> Fuck, yeah, we get to smell your aunt. Smells <laughs> 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 phony. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> you eat vinegar. That's gross. What in the hell is kombucha? That's that, kombucha that's that drink. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking you said something else. It's fermented. I think. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, because yeah, it has a little bit Hardcore of alcohol. Pond. In it. Thanks, Brandon. Hardcore Pond. That's what it was. I not remember the name of it. <clears throat> but yeah, he was on that. He was pretty, he was pretty cool. What up, Brandon? Uh, he's actually the one that fixed my lawnmower. He does music. He, he's pretty good at beats and everything, too. So. Yeah, what up, Brandon? Thanks for joining. Another good one is Andre. Andre. Oh, well, Andre. We all, everybody knows who Andre is. Yeah, yeah. Andre's yeah, pretty yeah, good. Uh, Andre's pretty good. So, we, well. um, yeah, yeah. so, last time I talked to you before now, uh, you still, were you still working for the school system? Yeah. Man. So, now, oh, now that, that right there, I was, you see, yeah, man, I, I'm, I'm a teacher. I say, you're what? 
<laughs> Not that you want cake, but don't get me wrong. But yeah, yeah. Like, no, you know, you don't think about I'm it. Just like, yeah. you know, what grade do you teach? Like, you know what? It, 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 yeah, so it, it, no, his demeanor of me been known him for right. up 10 years oh, now. Which school? Muskegon. NHA schools. In, in what? NHA schools. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that. All right. I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, this is uncensored, so it doesn't matter. matter. Yeah. No, I even if you could know. say it, it'd probably get. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of the baddest kids in the school? Okay. So good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was in I was in Muskegon area. Muskegon. He said Muskegon like three times. So, Which kids? That was my first opportunity. So that was um, so this year was like yeah that was my it's just part of the journey you know what I'm saying so I think yeah. a lot of that had to do not because I, I don't I didn't think I'd be a teacher someday but yeah I think it was just the journey that I've that I've been on and it just kind of naturally yeah, fell into him. Yeah, and right. I, know, I think my wife applied. She might have actually applied for me. Actually, your, your, but you. your demeanor, bro, like the way that how you are, yeah. how I've been knowing you, like you that's a perfect kids? job. He's a perfect job. Yeah, he got plenty of kids. Thirteen. Oh. <laughs> and that's why he does the art. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just looked like yeah. he looked at the last name Ebo. But then, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like, that, that, like, that was awesome, man. When I heard you say, I'm like, yeah, yeah. my okay. man's a teacher up there. That's but cool. that's, that's awesome. I think that actually fits you. You know what I'm saying? I actually, it was good. It was yeah. good. It was a great experience, man. And How long I, you been out there now? And that was. Uh, just one year, man. Oh, that was your first year. That was my first year. Oh, I remember wow. calling you because I was trying to recruit. I know. I know. Everybody knows anything about the schools, man. Yeah, people, definitely. man. I don't even that was perfect, man. bro. I, I know, but it's just. I'm so still, still not opposed to having. I'm still. Yeah. I think. Hey. I think once my son and my kids graduate there, I got two seniors now. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, are you serious right now? I got two seniors. What? I thought you only had one. Yeah. You know. No, I got two. Damn it. Two? Okay, we'll go so with one that. Of our teachers is, you know, he's one of your kids' you? coach. Yeah, I know. You know, you know two. Which one? So, uh, well, I can't. Can I name? I can't. He's been coach, man. Lineman coach. Okay. Lineman coach. Yep. You know what I'm talking about? Yep, I know. And, yep. and then uh, receivers coach. As long as yeah. you're not talking bad about him, then it doesn't matter. Yeah, but, you know. I know, but it's like, you know, they don't. Malik. Malik. Michael yeah, Jordan. I'm- <laughs> that? I just said Michael Jordan. I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah. Right. You're going to ask me who the girl is. Well, who is it? Who is it? Okay. Okay. Can you tell him that? I'm just kidding. Oh, he, thinks he's he's right. Right. he thinks COVID. No, I'm just kidding. So, yeah, um, that's awesome, man. They definitely, that's definitely so that was good a school system that can use some good mentors, man. Yeah, you know, yeah. And, it, and it made me. Um, me and mentors. It it made me uh it made me want to get in my own community for sure. Like yes. you know, being over there, it's obviously it's yes, it's um you know the area, you know yeah. it's oh tough, major. it's a tough area. And, <clears throat> yeah, uh, absolutely, absolutely. It does suck, you know, like it. But you know they come to school, and kids are kids, man, and and you just connect, man. You connect, and, and there's yeah. a lot of talent in Muskegon. Oh, loaded with a talent. lot of talent all over in Muskegon, board. all over the place. Yeah, you know, a lot of young artists, you know. Uh, yes, I used to, and I think that's the key. When our son was in elementary, I went to school to read books to the other students. Mm-hmm. In the that's library. good. We'd meet up in the library. Yeah, that's cool. a little see, little stuff like that goes a long way for sure. Because a lot of these kids, man, they just. They looking for something to do. They looking for somebody just to show them that, give them that, give them that push. Five minutes of, hey, it's all me and you right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? This 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 next five ten minutes is about you. Yeah, and I would do, and I would do things like that. So you yeah. know, I, you know, I I had full kids to the side. If I notice it and I got a minute, you know, come through. Like, let's talk a minute. Like, what do you like to draw or whatever? Right. Can I show you a couple tips? And you know, there's a couple right off the bat. <laughs> I'll see you guys next to me at one of these shows. Yeah. Probably sooner than later, you know. Yeah, true story. They're ahead of its. Mm-hmm. They're ahead of the time, you know. Yeah. Here, I can. I can think of. Two, I mean, I'm looking at two people right now. Clearly, that will sit there and draw in the chaos of school, sitting at lunchtime. You know, got their head down. It's a whole another level by the time they even become an adult. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right through a fire drill. Yeah. My cut. Like, you know, and and I don't know what kind of impact that I had on them or I'll have moving forward, but it's you know it's like little things like when when you recognize it, you know, and and, it, and it's a little bit where I can I can back it up a little bit and say, hey, you know, and instead of drawing that same thing, you know, I would ask, yeah. them, let me see your worst. I don't even care about the same. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Let yeah. me see the bad stuff and exactly. Right. And and you know, and I'm like, look, man, like let me see the bad stuff and yeah. And I'd say little things, you know, draw draw yeah. twenty hands. 
Yep. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea because then you get them to practice. Yeah, you get them to, the you know, thing, yeah. Like when I was working at Escape, that was my, my teaching approach was very non traditional. Like mm -hmm. I was straight to it. Like mm -hmm. I know what y'all been through. I know y'all don't want to be here, but the fact of the matter is y'all here. So yeah, exactly. Let me know what you about. You know what I'm saying? So you just, you just get around the BS because these kids know when you bullshit. Oh, yeah. Right, they know if you're genuine mm -hmm. in, the, in the approach to try to help them. They don't want to hear that. Oh, I understand, but they, they know. They know you uh, actually know. Yeah, exactly. You ever had your lights cut off? Yeah, exactly. You ever went to bed without a meal? Mm -hmm. you, did you grow up without your daddy? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Did you grow up without your mama? Did you live with your grandmama for a long time? You know what I'm saying? Did you bounce around house to house? Is your parents strung out? You know what I'm saying? No, you do. You don't know. Right. You exactly. know what I'm saying? And so. Unless you want to know, we'll tell you. No. Right, we'll tell you. But <laughs> at that age, they're so innocent. They don't need to be. They shouldn't have to explain themselves. Right. No. You know what I'm saying? Like, they shouldn't yeah. have to have to go through that. They need to be kids still. And, like, when you put too much on the kid's plate or expect them to perform and behave this way, like, you exert, you have the level of expectation that you set for your kids. But, yeah. For the kids. For sure. But you can't expect them just to do it. Without guidance, like, oh, I gave you the rules for you to do it. No, you, you, you might have to hold his hand a little bit. Hey, yeah. little dog, this is how you deal with the situation. Yeah, you ain't got to be bad all the time. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You ain't got to fight every situation. Oh. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to cuss every word. You ain't got to drop the N bomb every other word. Let's right. use your words. Use, use your language. There's other words. To express yourself. Children. Always hug Embrace, children. man. Yeah, uh, exactly. Uh, what do you call it? Um, speak Yes. And to these kids, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's missing, man, in this yeah, man, cold it. ass, media frenzy ass world that we live in, man. Like these mom you yeah, go in your room, go in your room. Yeah, your kids be going to room with a, a yes, PS5, five. <laughs> Xbox, in an iPhone, in a computer, locked in a room, just I mean, exposed to all kind of shit. Oh, you get some punishment, then they're doing a doing a huckabuck dance. Yeah. You just grounded me. You sit into my room. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I like it in here. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I need to piss you off more, Mom. Sit in my room. <laughs> my mom's uh, bad. Do I need to go to my room? Yeah. Is it all right if I go to my room? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, but you know, it, it's uh, it was it was a great experience for me. And and you know, and you learn a lot. And you learn a lot quick, like Malik said, man. A lot of these kids, man, they go through a lot. They go mm -hmm. through and they um, teach your ass too. You know, and, and here's the thing, you know, and even for them, man, they gotta understand themselves because you know, exactly. a lot of times they got that that shield up. Yeah. And, you know, for me, it was kind of like you're right. They look right through you, man. Like especially, they especially in that community mm -hmm. over there. Yeah, because, yeah. They, they, there's there's things going on they around can them. Tell if you're real. Yeah, they you got to. And, and the weird thing is, it's not mm -hmm. like I was being fake, fake, but. It, I eventually, you know, when it comes to kids, and that's everywhere you're at. Right. You know, I learned quick because I watched the teachers around me, man, and a lot of the leadership. I said, holy cow, man, like, uh, for me, what changed things around, you know, in my school year was was when I stopped talking to them. Like, yeah. like I had to start talking to kids like my own kids. Yeah. yeah. And you don't think that exactly. you talk to kids like your own kids. And I, when I'm saying, like, talk to your own kids, like, you know, like when nobody's around, like we're always yeah. a lot more serious to our kids when they're not around. They probably think we're just, you know, complaining to them or victim. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we're, 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 most of the time, we're telling the kids straight up because yes. exactly. if they can't take it from us, when they go out there and they take it, you know, they're going to know what to expect and they might look at you all funky, but they're going to hear you out. You know what I mean? Exactly. So when I started talking That's to true. kids like that, and it wasn't more like I'm trying to save your life type stuff, it was just more like how we're talking now. Yeah, you know, exactly. say, hey, you know, get your book out. Now it's just more like, hey, what's up, man? All right, hey, do this. Hey, you know what I mean? Like, we're just mm -hmm. talking normal now. Yeah, we're talking normal. Like, hey, don't forget you got homework. But you are but trying you to get like like stern then indirectly. It, you are yeah. saying this like, but indirectly. Almost. But yeah. if you got to get stern, you yeah. know, there isn't like it. What helped me out is when I really looked at that child, you know, and it was like, it was more of a, like total being comfortable with having to not to hold a child or anything, but like, I'm talking about yeah. just be, you gotta be, you gotta go there. Yeah. And you just, yeah. so when I started doing that, like, Hey Malik, get to work, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, come on, yeah. man, like you messing up. Yeah. You yeah. Messed up. Um, to get it. When that, when that stuff started happening and you know, obviously in the kids test, you was crazy, you know, and then they <laughs> were like, they, yeah. they take you, you take it. Or you yeah, know, the, that, <clears throat> it's a it's a give and take too. Yes, so you is. can't just always be like, no, I don't, you can't. Talk are you about in the are you in the dangerous minds class? Yep. 
But uh, that's when <laughs> the hugs in the hallway started. Like, hey, Mr. Yeah. you know, that's why it's worth it. You know? yeah. 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 Even principals, my, in high school, he'd be outside shaking everybody's hand. Yeah, that's, that's another thing. That's personal connection, man. That, yeah. Yeah. You have to be that way. Man. Like, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's good camaraderie, man. And like, kids and respect awesome man. Principal. And they'll yeah. listen to you. Yeah, and, like, and, the, and, they'll, and, they'll, and they'll tell you, like, nah, man, whatever, man. I don't even like you or whatever. They or, you know, you know mm-hmm. and they'll sit there and, and they'll tell you everything. They, they, you know, yeah, you suck. And then later <laughs> on, it's like, what's up, Mr. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up? Yeah. You know, because, like, there's another thing, too. Like, a kid's going to get yeah. mad at you. Oh, yeah, for Because sure. they're, they're growing up. Their brains are developing. Mm-hmm. You know, but one of the keys, too, is I have, what is it that you call, like, when you forget, like, amnesia or mm-hmm. it's almost like an athletes do this they do a great job they miss 10 shots in a row on mags they don't even remember short term memory, oh, short-term so memory like, yeah you have to have yeah. that you can't just hold a grudge so i could I, I some crazy classes you know it's my first mm-hmm. experience i don't know like not seasoned you know they ran out they kicked my butt yeah they walked out that door and i could be mad I'm like, oh you were bad today walk right out that door i don't even care anymore right like, in the hallway, exactly. i'm like what's up and yeah it's yeah like, it's like a whole different like, it like the hallway's matter. a different room because as soon as they walk out that door they got a whole other mm-hmm. stuff to deal with yeah, yeah. stuff to deal with too and we mm-hmm. got the next bet you know you gotta like take it off and, mm-hmm. and put your focus on the next yep. group of kids. you have, you and, have to but yeah, it, it, was a great, it was a great experience man and artistically i drew every day man i drew probably john me rocks a hundred times man. <laughs> i was just gonna say like a week you know okay, so since you're, come there, hey so, i need my sasuke <laughs> i need that i'm all right you know if they were better they stay to help me clean my room you know you keep a couple kids here and there and yeah, yeah. Draw pictures for them. oh yeah yeah and then i'd just be like i'd sit there be like hey you know let me talk to you in case of direct me i might just give him some words of encouragement and be like you know what man who's, yeah, who's, 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 who's your favorite you know and then i start to out sketch and there you go yeah i wanted cool. my son out of there so bad like i was like some town to ski in and you know um but when i seen you know like the connection that he had with his coaches and his it's a lot friends of people and, and what kind of kid my son was like mm-hmm. he's not a troublemaker he's pretty laid back chill you know what I'm saying? He don't, he don't be out there wilding that I know of. <laughs> Wait, you know, put it on, there, there's a, put there it on a lot of good people out there. <laughs> they got you on that bullshit, so I'm not yeah. playing with you. But uh, he, um, so he fell off a little bit last year. Um, I was, uh, I think I told the story the other night, but I'm going to tell you. Um, so he, Muskegon had this, um, promo video mm-hmm. about the team you know so, so it's like it was like it said Muskegon Big Reds uh varsity football team so all every single player came up to the camera got their pads on had the football do a little pose yeah you know next 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 so I watched the whole video I didn't see my son I said wait a minute okay I did get distracted for a second let it on his back <laughs> watch the whole thing again he was not there he ain't on there I'm like, I'll call him. I said, what's up, son? Hey, what's up, Pops? I'm like, hey, uh, I just watched this uh, Muskegon video of the Marcy team work. You not on there? Oh, no, I wasn't there that day. So I'm already getting, I'm like, I said, why? Why? <laughs> why wouldn't you want to be on TV? I just became available. I was like, wait, were you hurt? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> there he goes again. I was like, uh, I was like no. He was like, he was like, no, I wasn't hurt. I was like, okay. So I'm on my way walking to a doctor's point. I was like, I'm gonna call you back. So I call his coach, the offensive coordinator, Coach Doc, Coach Doc, okay. and he's a guy I played with for a few years. And so I called. I was like, what's up, Doc? He was like, what's up, Lee? What's good, baby? I'm like, man, look, bro, uh, what's up, with my son, man? He went on the video. What, what's going on? He's like, man, you ain't no. Hmm. I said, no, what? He said, man, your son. He failed all his classes, bro. I said, I talk to my son every day. What are you talking about? He told me he was good. Man, not only did he fail all his classes, he come in, not coming to school for a week or two at a time. Wow. I said, oh, hell no. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm living, I'm deflated, I'm hurt. Yeah, man. I'm pissed. I'm like, wait a minute. Doc, what are you talking about? He said, man, I ain't going to lie to you. I'll mail you email. I said, Doc. He got to email me nothing. I believe you, bro. I'm not distracted. Yeah, why would you? Yeah. Why would you like me like that? No, no, you ain't got to do all that, bro. He said, man, Malik, I, I 
told him, man, if you get up late, we come and get him, bro. We made our whole game plan around him this year. Huh. He was a big part of this team, bro. You know, we love Ben. You know how good of a player he is. I'm like, oh, that's his name up there, Benny. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. All right. He said, man, you got any questions, man? I would call me anytime, bro. Hang up. I called my son. I'm like, I'm to the point. I said, son, what's up? What you want, man? Good, chilling. I said, did you work out today? Oh, he wasn't even going to the workout. Oh, yeah, man. I ain't lying to dad, bro. Hmm. So I'm like, I'm hurt. I'm about to cry and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm like, yeah. what you doing, son? Oh, I'm just chilling. Oh, you have to create it? Yeah. I said, okay, hold on. Let me call you right back. I jump on the slab. Mm. <laughs> on my way to ski kid. <laughs> Steam it, bro. Oh, yeah. man. Pull up to the crib like. Doo, 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 doo. And he come, he come out like. Oh. Hey, what's up, Pops? I said, let's take a ride. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Why, what's up? I said, tell your mama you'll be back. Come take a ride. I just walked around, turned away, turned around and walked away. And when it said the truck, it was like. <laughs> Look at the door. He came out itching out. And Pops, you all right? I said, no. Is you all right? No, I'm not all right. I said, I said, why would you lie to me like that, bro? Yeah, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why would you do me like that? I said, I ask you every day about your grades. And then in practice, you always know you coming from practice, coming from the weight room. You ain't been doing shit. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so he, he said, oh, just, I said, man, ain't no excuses. You lied to me. How do you expect to get all you want to that to me, Why would you do me like that? I ask you every day, what are you struggling with? What do you need help with? Mm-hmm. You know, see, so your cousin's a teacher up there. My cousin quit that. Yeah. yeah, bro, she teaches up there. You know what I'm saying? You got smart cousins, you know what I'm saying? And scholars. You have resources. Yeah, you got yeah, resources. Exactly. I teach other kids. You think I won't come to your rescue? Right. Hey, exactly. No. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you have all the tools right and there. And so, uh, Doc, you know, call you back. He was like, man, he was like, but we're working on it, man. We go get him in summer classes. We go pull, we pulled off a miracle. We was able to get him enough classes for the summer so he'll be back eligible for the season. But the next team, season was that? Yeah, right? last season. Last season. Okay. Yeah, it was yeah. like the team said they want him back, but they said they don't think he should start because everybody else has been working the whole offseason. Mm-hmm. It's not fair. I said, yeah, I'm not mad at that. Let us yeah. have to eat it. You, you gotta know, eat this one. And, mm-hmm. and I'll honestly, too, man, over there, they got such good athletes. Like, man. It, 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 yeah. like it's not like when we played. It's like they got guys that are that's waiting, waiting, next man waiting. up. Yep. Man up. Like, up. And mm-hmm. he's already there. That's the crazy yeah. thing. I mean, from what, the way I'm hearing it from some people, it's man. Like, you got your starter, and here's your bench guy. He, yeah. he just, he mm-hmm. just might have not been there yet. But, yeah, exactly. exactly. And so he, uh, coach, coach, coach Doc was like, listen, he was like, man, Malik. And going back to what you said earlier, you know, once they leave them doors, they're out of your hands. Mm-hmm. But then these coaches are. Right, she was like, "Man, Malik," uh, he said. The thing is, he said, "We're we're 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 bigger than football." And he said, "We're in the business of saving lives, bro." Yeah. He said, "That's the business that we into." He said, that "Football, football is just an outlet to keep them busy." Mm-hmm. He said, it "Just will happen." They're good at it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. 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 He said, yeah. it works out. You know what I'm saying? Right. We right. get some state championships, but we keeping these dudes off the street. Granted, he didn't save them all. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of guys out there that's in jail, shot, uh, uh, got girls knocked up, you know what I'm saying? And right. dropped out of school. Some of their best athletes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. it was it just made me feel good to, to know, like, man, you know what? I, I, I think he's in good hands. I know he's in good hands. I don't think I know he's in good hands. Yeah, because you yeah. know, for a fact, there's people that actually care. They they care about you. Like, and, yeah. yeah, a lot of guys I play semi pro ball with, their kids are on this team too. Yeah, yeah. so they always give me report. Hey, Malik, you ever this is Benny, this Benny, that? Yeah, I just, I've seen him. I've seen him. I've give me the straight report. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it's 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 it takes a collective effort. You know what I'm saying? At the end yeah. of the day, but um, Muskegon, you know what I'm saying? They um, for this. There's much stuff that go on. I tell you what, Friday Night Lights, all that shit is out the door. And, 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 uh, you know, and, and honestly, being mm-hmm. around and being around, you know, and I was only around who I was around then. There, but yeah. most of the people I was around were from the community, man. And yeah. there's some fantastic people out there. Man, some there, there, there is too. some, yeah, man. I worked with some people, man. And I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, man, this person right here, man. Like, 
They go. Yeah. There's a few of them out there, and they're all in the community, and it's like it just gets a bad rap because yeah. of the bad stuff. But it's like, man, Muskegon's massive. Like, there's yeah. a lot of good things going on. It's, it's a there. lot of good things going on. It's overshadowed by the garbage <laughs> that happens. But other than that, when, you, that when you're too, in it and you and you in that community, mm-hmm. like you 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 get to see the goodness that the city brings. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, I'm just. But that's why I'm glad my cousin went up there and, and started teaching. She was in the um, technology director for Holland District okay. for a couple years. And she yeah. went up. She's like, you know what? These kids need me more up here. You know, in you know what Kalamazoo, we had the Kalamazoo Promise. Is that promise in Muskegon too, by chance? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think it honestly, is. man, it, it, it feels like the community is just fed up. And, the, you know, there's tired. a lot of people that are, you know, it's, it's yeah. not it, nowhere near where, obviously, it's just not even close to where it needs to be. But it, yeah. there's there's people out there, and, and mm-hmm. they care. Yeah, It's not an overnight yeah. thing, man. It's no, not going to happen no, overnight. No, no. But collectively, man, and everybody doing that car, bro, <laughs> it, can, it, can, it can be turned around, man. There's, there's a lot yeah. of leadership. The Kalamazoo Promise yeah. is to help the Kalamazoo students to graduate high school and go on to college. It's a, yeah. Yep. yeah. So yeah, where so should I'm be? sure there's some type of programs. In, in motion over there in Muskegon and geared towards that. It's, it definitely should be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why my focus has been on my, my two seniors. My daughter is definitely, they both, my daughter and my son, they both want to go to college with my daughter is the one that's like gung-ho about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She's like, Daddy, Daddy I want to go, I want to do this. I want to go to HBCU. I think they have so I'm like, hey, you want to I want to be a surgeon. You know what I'm saying? So like, nice. she's very witty, very smart. You know what I'm saying? And, take school serious to sometimes i gotta tell her hey oh relax don't be so hard on so look i can't stand this a plus shit like wait a minute what <laughs> i want it a plus plus a 4.0 dad it should be at least a 4.3 yeah you know and, that, and, that would, and it's a good experience for him yeah you know, yeah like, for I sure think, i think when we were younger it was more we a lot of at least i was i was thinking, like ooh, let's just I don't know. I want to hit the books like right, that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But the other four years of this shit. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you know, it took me a while to go to like, college. It, it doesn't matter when you win. I, I didn't go to college. Go, go, I was whatever, 30, so it's like, you know what? Like, go whatever. That's pretty much how I was. But honestly, get it over with, too. Right. Like, yeah, yeah, man. Uh, I think that. In our 30s. Mm-hmm. I think that the important thing for these kids going forward with, with, with college and further education is put it in perspective. Like right now, like start even as as freshmen, showing them, okay, so this uh, this job makes this amount of money, and this is how long it'll take. You know, what I'm saying, you know, just really breaking it down. I feel like maybe I wasn't paying attention. Maybe I was too high in high school. <laughs> no, but maybe, but maybe they did do that when we were in school. But I feel like it wasn't laid out like that. Like you know what? Yeah. Even given the, the option of saying, okay, if you're not a college person and you're not gonna do that, here's a plumber, here's an electrician. Well, Here's a HVAC. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like exactly. I mean, we were probably the last generation of kids, really. When you think about it, so I, I think we really were. Yeah. Like the mm-hmm. Last generation of kids is we're kind of pre-internet, beginning of internet. Yeah. But we were also the last one where you could you could get you could have a good life right out of high school. Like, right. You know. Like, yeah, oh yeah. It, it always felt like college was like if you really wanted to do something. Yeah. They want to do it. It was never like I met. People growing up all my life that had everything, and it was like yeah. they just got a job or a trade job right after high school. Yeah, that was, mm-hmm. that was normal back then. Like, yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, I met something. Now it's like. Shoot, I remember working at Myers right out of high school. Right, I was, yeah, I mean, I, was I, mean, I got my first one back in time. Like, mm-hmm. You get your retirement stuff, you have it all, and then pretty much, you know, you have the plan mm-hmm. for 30 years. My mom's going to retire from Myers. Exactly. Oh, wow. That's fine. That's good. Yeah, yeah, so that's, that's um, good for that long too because and it, not very many people do that nowadays. <laughs> no, Stay at one job. I, I respect college, man. I think it's good. I got a lot of cousins, cousins that's in college, college graduates in the family that's doing very well. My cousin Zion, he, I don't know, I think he's going to be probably a rocket scientist or some shit. <laughs> like, he's really super smart, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but, you know, he's on his way. He committed, actually, it's smart. He's, he committed to Davenport business school so that's what he chose and he had offers he could have went he could have went anywhere he probably davenport's pretty went cool. to harvard mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying but davenport. this is what he chose and this is what because he, he knows what he wants to do and he's uh he said i don't want to make a big deal getting there i'm not right. trying to spend it all it's like 
So yeah, because he already had his associate by the time he got out of high school. Because at the end of the day, it, it, if you have the credential, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. that's, you know, if you're good enough to, to the job on the next level, really, you just need that credential. It's, if he's like, hey, you know, I'm going to go to Davenport. It's good school. Yeah, well, Davenport's so, a cool job. Either way, it's like, get it, you know. Yeah, it's good school. I mean, uh, I feel it's like good anything good. can be. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, so. so. But yeah, man. Way out time. I know. Oh, that's right. It's important, though. Do that all day. I'm just saying. Everybody yeah, has their own path, man. So, yeah. so like, and, like and you went, you went to art. You went to Kindle. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. You know, going back to the beginning of it all, you know. Uh, so, what really got me? You want to show us what's going? Or you can. Or all right, I can. I what really, what really, really got it going. You know, was I was 30 years old, man. I was late 20s, man. I I got a knee injury mm -hmm. uh, playing basketball, trying to be young. And uh, so everything else, <laughs> like we all, like all of us, you know. And I had, oh, I remember that. I had a sketchbook, I had a hop step too. Yeah, yeah, it was decent. It was decent. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, but anyway, so so uh, that's when it. That's when, for me at least, I was just drawing a lot, and because I was stuck, I was stuck, in, you know, my leg. <laughs> so I'm like, you know, I'm gonna get out of sketchbook, and yeah, it kind of went from there, and then I just started posting it, you know, like everybody posts things to get a little yeah, uh -huh. and once yeah. I started getting like, okay, cool, then the obsession hit, it right. finally came back, and then it was like, I actually draw tonight or whatever, and, yeah. and then it gets to a point where it's like I'm drawing every day. Yeah, mm. every day, even just now, like even if it's just this, you did, you did something. Yeah, <laughs> that's so, your thing for the day. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's every day. I'm good. Yeah. you know. So I started doing that, and then, um, and you know, college at the time wasn't in the books. I didn't really care about it too much, to be quite honest. But then I was like, you know, my kids are starting to grow, so I'm like, all right, let me. I, I want, I want this. Let me have this accomplishment. You know, right. maybe that'll motivate them to go because mm -hmm. you know I didn't. So, yeah, so hey, Aria. I went to Kendall. In Grand Rapids, and you know, and I, I inchworm through it, you know, stay a few classes, whatever. And happy then, happy birthday, Aria! Happy birthday, Aria! That was just two days ago, happy three days ago. <clears throat> Your birthday? Who was that? It was three. It was the same as Lauren and oh, okay. Lauren and Aria have the same, birthday. same birthday. Oh, cool, cool. But yeah, so, so yeah, so during during college, you know, I started doing. um uh, just conventions, bro. Like, and that's pretty much what you were saying. Right? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. So conventions, you know, like just random comic book conventions. Anybody that had a show, like, you know, I met some great people along the way. You know, a guy named Tracy. And say, hey, I got a show going on outside. You want to be a part of? You know, just those little things, and you just meet all kinds of people along the way. Right. Yeah. And um, exactly. Yeah, and then now I, I go to like you know grand rapids comic con any comic con that's around you sign up for it you know and mm -hmm. you submit some work and if they like what you got you're in does you know? comic con travel city to city oh it's all over it's the all place. over the place so, yeah. it's all know. over the world pretty much and so that, yeah, yeah so really that, that this is my journey that's my dream is to just do like comic book stuff that's awesome. and everything in, is is along the way you know the teaching the teaching happened out of nowhere mm -hmm. and i'm gonna ride that out you know because it's great in a different way yeah, yeah. um yeah, and but sure. this is this is always the goal you know and and so i, I do these shows and this summer I, i've been in quite a few like the last one was at uh lansing was the last show i was at mm. and um so yeah these are like three-day type shows you travel go do your thing for the weekend and and you sell art and nice. you know you make prints you sell everybody's got a little bit of everything there okay. you know if you go to comic-con you're gonna find a little bit of everything Why people selling sure. food oh yeah so when I'm there, I'll have about five or six of these books, and then I just have them open with nothing on there like that, you know. Okay. And, okay. Uh, so, I I do more of the commissions. So people come up and they say, "Hey, you know, forty, you know, I got my prices like head and shoulder commissions." Yeah. And that's what I do, and then I just sell originals at these shows. Yeah. I just I take books like this and things that you've seen on Facebook or whatever, and I'll. Just throw it in here and you know keep it kind of simple you know i could probably be a little better but oh shit there you go it's for sale <laughs> you know you're doing... oh. <laughs> everything's for sale well, i want to some more stuff and and they you know i i all i can ask is if you go through it if you see something you like great where's our picks hold on let's do put it on here you're great at what you do. That's amazing. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. 
so yeah you know these are so that's what i do everybody's got a different method of doing it but i go to these shows and yeah man i i hope that somebody wants some fan art or you know you get people that um say hey can you draw me in my cosplay and stuff like that so you know it, it's just whatever you and then and then you meet people you uh so it's a great it's a cool environment it, it's, it's fun have you had anybody um request certain things like hey can you draw me this real quick or oh, yeah that's exactly what it is so around mm-hmm. there i have my little price point up and, and oh that's what that is yeah okay. so okay. i'm doing it right there at the show so, I mean, so if you say hey can i get a wonder woman you know yes, all right good yeah. all right come back in an hour and you know they pay me and then cool. i do my thing and that's freak that's cool that's, that's how that, that works in there that's like perfect <laughs> i don't we'll figure something out. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. yeah that's how that goes when the shows and you know and stuff like that and over the years it's been that's cool man you know wow. and... remember she ryan King? oh yeah Oh yeah. Have you, have you drawn I've she had so many draw. I think I did draw a Shiro. Oh, that's cool. At a couple that's shows cool. Ago. Yeah, because and then it's and then you get things that you've never people never even I I never heard of the characters I've never heard of that were part of X Men or whatever. Yeah. Um, all kinds of stuff. So I'm just like, okay, well, yeah, that's cool. But um, but yeah. So this is the this is one of the books. I don't care. But oh yeah let's if you want to scroll you go through, through it you know there's some prices on there that probably not there and i and a lot of these are just like sketches i'll sit there and draw you know i'll draw these at the show to fill them who oh, right right there who's that right uh gene gray you gene. know and it's it's there and if you like oh, it great yeah. if you don't you know that's cool yeah, I do it in my own way, and that's almost like you know how when people go get a haircut, they flip flip through the book. Oh, yeah, I want this. And, you know, you know? Every, <laughs> and everybody around you, there's there's good artists all over. Question? You know, this was just more like study, like a fashion study, human study. I, I might take a, like queen. I might take yeah. I might make it take a different. This could be like I can't remember how this one, but I was doing like some studies, and I would do different people, and I actually sold those. It's the last one. And mm. it might be like this might be like a Roman dress with an Egyptian. Like I was just yeah. trying to combine things. You know? Oh yeah, that and makes sense. So yeah, this is like a queen with. I might just kept her pretty classic for the most part. But... I like that one a lot. That's one. That one really oh, stood out for some reason. Yeah, Lift it up a little bit. I can't. Even... Yeah. I can show it on camera. Yeah, it's right there. There you go. That's cool. Yeah, I like uh, that. That is really cool. Awesome. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm saying, dude. You, you. Know now, here's the thing, because I'm like, I suck at drawing. I'm just gonna say it. But I try to draw what I'm visioning, but then it doesn't come out that way. Yeah, well, I, mean, yeah. I can't either. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, it like, doesn't I mean, I even can't do that close. Either. Like, it's it's uh, that's but, hard to do, man. But that's what I'm saying. It, it looks like that's how you do it. You know, like you, yeah. you think, all right, I want it to look like this. And boom, there it yeah, is. Yeah, the practice yeah. happens. Uh, nothing's ever going to look like what you vision, I think, in my opinion. And right. Unless you got, I've tried to do, I've tried to practice it, but you got to reference. I mean, that's just me. I don't have it like that. So I reference a lot. Um, I might reference, I reference multiple things a lot and yeah. to kind of create something. So if I'm thinking it, there's a chance that there's a photo of it somewhere. Okay, so, yeah. So I was just so going to say. ways to find an image, you Joe, know, or a reference. So. Here's another question I was going to ask. Have you had anybody have asked you to draw them a tattoo? Oh, yeah. All day. Okay. All the time. Oh, um, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> I, I don't draw a lot of I, I have, and, and I say I tell people to link up with their arts. Anyway, right. Because, yeah, of course. Because they're going <laughs> to... Well, for one, you know, I've tried to, I've had pictures go to tattoos and it's not going to work out. <laughs> like, it might True. be too sketchy. I'm a sketchy kind of guy. Yeah. Like, but uh, for the most part, you know, you link up with your artists and you, you, you want them to do the best possible job for them. So mm-hmm. not that obviously they can do anybody's stuff, but especially yeah. if you have a good one. But yeah. for the most part, you try to like get their creativity on you. Which is so cool. That's yeah. how I see it. If you chose this tattoo artist for a reason or the yeah. shop, you know. Then you're going to want them to You might to actually it. get more for your buck because if you let them have creative freedom. That's um, true. And, and they got to draw it out anyway. So they're going to take the time that to draw it out. You might as well let them utilize their their process is unique as well you might as well experience the whole process that's true yeah because i i wondered that myself like with people that draw stuff it's like how many like my um brother-in-law who passed away 
Um, he was not a tattoo artist. And obviously he would try to do what you wanted. Mm-hmm. Try to. His, mm-hmm. He did this one, but it was our my drunk moment of I had no idea what I wanted. <laughs> but he did it anyways. I was like, well, come up with this and put my initials in and do this. Exactly what we were envisioning. Yeah. But obviously not what we wanted. What I wanted, but you know, it's there for the rest of my life. Yeah, dude. Like, you I know? mean, every tattoo I got, I was expecting like that Trader Things poster. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, exactly. Like, wow. Yeah. Like, hey. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, I, don't, I only got like 50 bucks. You know? <laughs> 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 get the fidget there, well, yeah, exactly. It's like, um, <laughs> we can get a letter. <laughs> right. Like, well, I, mean, I got a one. I like I want to do my first and only. Uh, yeah. Got this at the, uh, in wherever they have the flannel that's for it. <laughs> <laughs> white hall no, white hall white hall white cloud michigan i believe white cloud is it white yeah, right hey. and it was it was white cloud <laughs> a lot of honkies over there yeah, a whole bunch of them, <laughs> <laughs> but, what is that that's my mean? my name in arabic which in arabic? was an arabic name it okay. means sovereign king that's mm. awesome. yeah i've so, heard that so, so ab you um uh, you have a favorite what? Favorite what? A favorite painting or drawing that you like? Yeah. Man, this this one mine. This one of one of uh. You know what, man? Honestly, no favorites. No. I, I I try to like the next one, and there's so many drawings that y'all don't. Either. Really? I, I don't. I honestly, I I ain't none that's more sentimental. It's than weird. One. Well, I mean, you got some sentimental stuff, but I I am not gonna lie. Honestly, over the last. <laughs> God, so many years, mm-hmm. now, a handful of years, like nothing. Like I've never mm-hmm. wanted to actually keep it. Yeah. Um, mm. I, I don't know why. It's just probably because I keep drawing, so I figure I'm so gonna it's going to be again, another one. Yeah. Again. Yeah, but mm-hmm. yeah, that's true. There's, there's something but, I'd be like, man. But you know, honestly, I'd rather have somebody have this. Love, so you know? here's a question that I think you should do because you obviously have the talent. Um, you should definitely. I I don't know if you probably already thought of this, but. Uh, have you had your artwork done or used on anything else that you that can be used as a promotional thing? Like, for example, so, somebody, yeah, man, I like mean, a company or right. something. So, one of my good friends, man, his name is uh, well, I'm saying it's Matt Rodriguez is his name. So <laughs> he uh, from Zealand, man, and he I met him a few years back, or mm-hmm. you know, it's been a while now. We're pretty good friends. So, uh, shout out to Matt Rodriguez. But Matt Rodriguez is from Zealand, and he started he's got about six comic books that he created oh wow. and he's one of the first people i've met that were he gave me my first published work actually man we did a book cool. together um he has a book called here defenders of eden you know disciple six you know he's got some pretty it's some x-men type he-man type stuff nice uh check it out yeah heroes from mars is his what's company. his name matt rodriguez matt rodriguez yeah he's my got, he so the guy who does the tulip city comic-con he is actually so him it's actually him and his partner he got another guy named curtis and these are the two cats that started doing the comic-con in holland okay and so yeah so matt actually man and now that i see that he keeps yeah definitely check him out man he's got some good work and uh so yeah he gave me an opportunity to do a book with him and so we we did this book and it was called ember um it was like a backstory to something else he had going on and that's cool so i'm forever grateful for that man like he hooked it up you know and and yeah. uh so yeah I, I, it's good to have something published you know I, I don't i don't have the book on me but but yeah i kept that so i guess that was the only thing i've kept but yeah in all honesty man like these things have been sitting and you know if they go they go it's all good yeah as long as you pay for it yeah. <laughs> exactly but uh so yeah you know so it's, it's that's, been that's what a ride man that's that's something that I don't know if I even have the patience for. Well, and that's <laughs> you, know, stuff, you know, and right, a lot right. of the you know thing about when we were hanging out, it was we lived such a social life back in the day. Uh, we was just I've turned into a, a somebody different now. Like I, I'm I I grown man, that person no more, man. <laughs> right. I'm like a hermit, man. I, you know, you gotta. <laughs> You know, and I, I'm I'm only at a level in my opinion that that I I got way further to go. Like whether you know it or not, there's a lot to, yeah, to, I believe to accomplish, it. and there's a lot yes. to learn. Oh yeah. Um, Just but like, like at anything you do, any any craft that you guys do, you know, like doing your show, like obviously 
Mm-hmm. The more you got to do podcasts and, and you do, you know, sound it, it yeah, all takes it gets, time, you know, yeah, being, cool. like writing, you're you're writing and, and doing yep. your thing. Like mm-hmm. that's your sketchbook. Your sketchbook yeah. is your ideas. Your, you're, you've always had this business mentality since we were younger, dude. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, yeah. we're doing this. I'm going to do that. So yeah, yeah. all that stuff is just it's it's all things accomplished and it's all experience i'm still learning and, man, and I'm, yeah, man like you said I'm, I'm trying to be better at writing writing plays and finishing different like my movie ideas and plays and and really mm-hmm. working on my craft as a coach yeah, yeah. yeah. coaching these kids and mentoring at the civic center no, 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 no civic theater. Oh, okay. oh, <laughs> just in general yeah pretty just, soon huh seriously <laughs> Just yeah, going, man, like, I'm still growing. Really like, I, I did mm-hmm. some coaching today. You know, I did some promo stuff yep. you know, that me and Ben are work, working on, and like just um, finding ways <laughs> to coach guys up better, and um, knowing who the player, you know, knowing the player, and um, and getting more activated, you know, with my X and X's and O's. You know, so I don't know it all. Mm-hmm. I know a lot about football. Yeah, but you know, as far as developing my own concepts. As a as a as a coach, and which I have Your some philosophy, the lots of me, mm-hmm. and so yep. that when I get to which I'm eventually being a head coach somewhere, mm-hmm. you know, I'll, I'll I'll have that locked up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and like, know mm-hmm. step in comfortably. You know, yeah. what, and, what group do I focus with? Or, you know, exactly. Like what's what's my focus on this team? Yeah, you know, well, it is. And, 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 and as a coach, and and, and and as a player, playing play, play uh, especially playing. Football pretty much my life and yeah. semi pro ball, like it changed almost yearly because of your personnel, which mm-hmm. is the KYP, know your personnel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You got to, you get, last year we ran a, we ran a, a RPO offense. This year we ain't got RPO quarterback. We got a pocket guy who's got a big yeah. arm, but he's not very athletic. So we're going to go to the spread offense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We got It's constant change. Yeah. You know what no. I'm saying? So, so now that, like, say you get, so with the goal as well, then say, hey, should I go work for the place that I'm coaching in? Like, so yeah, yeah, yeah. just to school down the street, you know, and it's yeah. like, okay, well, then maybe I should try to find a job in the school because now you have, like, it's weird to think, man, but, like, think about old school, but, like, it probably still happens, obviously. Yeah. Coaches where they're, they're the gym teacher or whatever, kind of walking <laughs> yeah. around all their exactly. like, kind of recruiting anyway. Like, yeah, that's what I told and I remember the athletic like, director yeah. I just seen at Holland Ben. And then uh, his name's Ben. And then I seen uh, the head coach. I met the new head coach for the first time okay. at my son's football camp last week. Um, and I told him what it is. I said, man, he said he had heard about me. He said, yeah. players talking about me. And, and like, I was like, look, man, my heart is here. I said, my, my son plays from Muskegon, so I'm going to support my son. So once he graduated, when he goes to play college ball, he'll be playing on Saturdays. Coming back here, I'm gonna, we're going to win the state championship. I already had the dream. Mm-hmm. God already put it in my vision that once I come back, I'm going to know how to recruit these kids. Yeah, They're not going out and get these kids. Like I've got so many kids to come out and play like, oh, you're coaching. I'll come play. Like, okay, if that's what it takes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And these new kids, they want to see. They want to. What's missing with the programs, I realize these kids will like film now. They want to see, hey, man, coach, you got some high yeah, field. So I pulled exactly. some stuff from my semi-pro career. Here I am, you know, say, oh, coach, oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? They want to, you, you can't be the, you can't be 70 no more as a coach. Yeah, exactly. You can't be 70, 80 years old. Like, it's not that, that's not what the era we live in no more. So, uh, I know that, like I said, man, uh, I, I, I'm, my heart is always going to be with Holland. Yeah. Um, That's where I went, and I'm determined to come back it make a difference in the city, you know what I'm saying? And uh but but I gotta do my kids first. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Exactly. So no, my that's son, perfectly fine. Shout out though to Muskegon, y'all are amazing. I've been doing everything for my son. He's a start center this year for the big friends. So many. Put Let's some, go. Put some baby. claps in there. You know what I'm saying? Um my daughter's playing volleyball. She finally decided to jump out there. She's probably a better athlete than her, than her brother. Yeah, you know, she does backflips and all that crazy shit. You know what I'm I can't even so do a front. athletic, but I can't even think to, of me doing that. Had to put herself in a wanted position. You know what I'm saying? So, um, um, I'm looking to do get back, man. I, I just, I, my, I, I keep coming right back to this community. Like, man, this is where I want to get back. This is where, this is where I'm at. This is where I want to give. You talking about here in Holland? Here in Holland. Okay. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, I literally thought about that when you were out there practicing, or I mean, helping the kids, and I'm yeah. like, this dude needs to be a coach. Mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah, you know? I love it. And, and honestly, that's what I got being in the ski. I, 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 same thing. I was like, man, I need to, you know, you know, you know, I, I was at Timberland. Yeah. Charter, Taylor, I love uh-huh. you. I, just love, I, love you, yeah. I don't know why I was weird about it. I'm like, am I supposed to say it? I don't yeah. know. Yeah, no, shout out to man. Shout out to Timberland. Hey. Like, hey. Woo, woo. Y'all on the podcast, they yeah, tell me. the Wolves, baby. Right. Um, they're in. So, um, yeah, they're in Muskegon, right? But, yeah, oh. I definitely was like, you know what? I need to. It definitely. Because I watched some of the cats from there, you know, connect with their kids from the community. I was like, man, I really need to get my community as well man like it's that's huge. definitely it's huge man just little stuff man coming to school with you know oh, some hungry. cupcakes and some gummy bear and just you know a little outside the box stuff man you know what i'm saying yeah, uh participating sure, in food drives and you know um little stuff like that it, feel, it feels good man. it feels it, good. it does feel good but it's it, rewarding man i do it because i was my family i was in that position before <laughs> i was in a position with when my mom, when my dad was in prison, my mom just struggled, man. We going to these food banks, and mm-hmm. we did. We had to survive, bro. You know what I'm saying? I have my little working forty hours in high school at McDonald's, dude splitting up our checks, um, to make it seem like we work in different pay periods. But well, and I think that's what's important too, man. Like some of these kids, you know, I've had some kids really go off as well. You know, I think another thing too with a lot of kids, man, they sometimes they forget, like. The people that are around them, they all, we all go through stuff, man. It don't yeah. even matter mm-hmm. how ghetto it is or mm-hmm. how, you know, yeah, mental it sure. is, anything, whatever you want to call it, man. But, yeah. you know, sometimes these kids need to know, like, hey, going through some stuff too, man. Like, you know, right. like, exactly. like, what would you, you think? You don't think, <laughs> you don't think, <laughs> and, you don't think yeah. I, I don't understand. Uh, yeah, I might have not yeah. had that actual thing happen to me like you did, but guess what? Right. I know. I'm about, 10 and I'm still I'm going through the same shit you're going through. <laughs> about 80% of exactly. what you're talking about? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That happened. <laughs> <laughs> you got his life problems. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's eight years old. Oh, his oh, wife same time? All right. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, know, I just got my wife to an hour ago. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's 50 funny. cents on the dollar, right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 These damn cents go. <laughs> <laughs> struggling That's for funny. real out there, man. So, but right. like you said, man, it takes a... But it, it's, a, you know, the community in general, like, for the most part, like, because even if you got money, there's something you went through, you, some kind of drama you had. Oh, we yeah. all had some kind of drama in our lives. Some kind oh, of yeah, drug. for sure. That's who we are. Matter where you all from, where we you are a fucking sum total yeah. of our life's experiences, bro. All we are is the shit we've been through, bro. Mm-hmm. And when you can when you can motivate and uh, relate to someone and, and, and inspire them or get them moving yeah, in the right. right direction based on just your pure experiences, man, you got to take advantage of that situation. Especially if it comes through your artwork, you know, because yeah, yeah, yeah. people yeah. that see yeah. that, platform. Yeah. you can, like, what you do can inspire somebody else. Like, you know what? I want to do stuff just like that. Yeah, that, that, you know? that, that, and that those people, you know, and I think that's where the... You know, when I was younger, like started the show, it's probably been about mm-hmm. seven, eight years. You know, you're meeting people and you're talking to right. 17, 15, 16 year old kids at the time. Yeah. And sure. I can honestly say, man, there's a few of them that I've met that were in some of these shows. Not talking about, you know, hey, mm-hmm. you know, you talk mm-hmm. to me or whatever, you you uh, encourage me or that feels good. And, you know, that yeah. now that that's coming back to me a little bit. Yeah. You know, sucks because it shows your age a little bit but, <laughs> but it, it does age good. is just like, a number because you know one thing one thing's for sure like when you get a little um maybe that's everybody it's at some point you gotta let your ego go man yeah right? sure. but, so it, you know and, and just spit some game because like i can't yeah. do what you do and you can't do what i do like nobody's alike so yeah, right, right. Exactly. you know it don't matter so let's like, collaborate and get it done i want to show this real quick yeah so um George, or why do I keep calling you George? Right. Bill, I'm sorry. I always say Bill, and then I, because I, I went to school with your brother. So he, he did this as well. Oh, I'm not even on camera. What am I doing? What are you doing? Oh, right there. He did this as well. And he autographed <laughs> So I think that's it might not Bill. look like Holland, Michigan when you first see it, but if you really look at it. You got the two <laughs> lips. You got the, two lip. you got the Dutch costume. Good. 
Is that what that's supposed to be? No, no. It's oh. like the Mexican dust. Uh, <laughs> oh. I call it a Dutch cup. It's no snakes. Man, it's fucking oh. Anyway, yeah, we got the snakes. I like that. That's, that's yeah, it's good, just you know, it's the fun design. It's good. That's gonna be hanging up here soon. I'm gonna put a home in Michigan on it for some reason. So yeah, we got to have the tulip instead of like a rose up top. It's like yeah. a tulip. Oh yeah. So I put it on there, but then like I would be at these shows and it'd be like in Lance, like Lance Detroit. I'd be like, hey, I really like that because that's actually the image on my banner behind me. Oh, I'm like, but you there. don't have any of these. Some or some. Like, no, I'm mm-hmm. like, you know what? Here, but it says Holland, Michigan. <laughs> so right, take it anyway. I'm helping put Holland on the map. We'll, well that's my little way. Like, hey, my little part, you know, like, I'm in like, a good way. Like, it's pretty cool. I like, yeah, Beery is acting silly over there, but uh, I mean, I like it. I, it's pretty cool, and I thank you for that. Yeah, I'm gonna hang this up. This will be in our wall of fame. I mean, I'm gonna charge you guys later, but you know, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, blow up, man. We, got we get a bill in the mail. Hey, uh, fifty nine ninety five an hour. You know I sell these, right? Yeah, you know that's for sell, right? Yeah. <laughs> See, but, when yeah. I was showing it to you, you said thank you, you're keeping it. I just assumed that you're buying. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you're right funny. down your cash afterwards. Yeah. Oh, how much was it? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's um, it's funny because. We do a, uh, well, we started a Hall of Fame wall over there. We got Eric Lozano and Demetrius Lake, which was on here Monday. Okay. Um, he's be, he's be, he'll be heading back to, where did you say he was going? Ukraine? Yeah, Ukraine. No, Europe. it was U- Europe somewhere. Okay. Yeah, because he played so overseas, right? Yep. Yeah, he did mm-hmm. like four days. Yep, he'll be gone by Tuesday. That's a song, isn't it? Is that, is that a song, Gone by Tuesday? Gone to and that's what it was. You know what's his work? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, but yeah. So it's like you know, I I appreciate you know what you do. You know, you're really good at what you do. It's you know, I show everybody your artwork. Thing, bro. Uh, like, that's yeah. awesome, man. Thanks, appreciate you it. You know what I'm saying, hey man? It's a uh, and, and what you, what they call what's your response when life, man. And, and, uh, you know what I'm saying? We both been through some shit, man. Yeah, and man. We done both seen each other struggle coming up, man. And but you know, we always yeah. had good people around us, bro. You never you know, you know you never you don't even know you're struggling until you think about it. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> we was in the trenches, cuz yeah. <laughs> yeah. stop thinking about it, just do it. Yeah, we yeah. was in the trenches, dog. Yep. You couldn't even tell me I was broke. <laughs> <laughs> I I was praying for rain so I could take a shower. And shit. Yeah, <laughs> do the rain I dance. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. I, thought, I thought this is horrible cool. outside. Uh-huh. I was at Bow's pool. Just, <laughs> just go to Bow's pool to shower. No worry, officer. I was just taking a bath. Oh my god. Yeah, man. But you know, things are up, man. You got a beautiful family, man. You still with Renee? <laughs> that is awesome. Man. I remember when they first said something. I said. This mug in love. <laughs> 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 love. Right. Yeah, cool. it was it. I was just like, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, she's awesome. And then, uh, I love her name, man. She always been the same girl, though. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, since Jefferson Elementary. Right? Yeah, so it's, it's been, uh, it's been a process, man. I'm still in the middle of it. You know? I knew it before you did. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's all, I mean, I mean, somebody probably did, but you probably had it in a situation of like, this is an everyday thing for me. So it's like, but people on the outside that see it, right? Yeah, no. Dude, you got talent, so quit saying you don't. You know, you get people say, hey, man, you got it. You made yeah. it. And it yeah. That's not how stuff works. That's how nothing right. works, man. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like, all right, cool, thanks. But it's like, right. yeah, you, you still, it, yeah, it's yeah, always going to be a learning process. Go it's not like I'm going home to a mansion. Yep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, That's it. No, like, I mean, uh, that's like I said, I did a video today at Sanctuary Woods, and I was talking to, to myself, but then I was saying it out loud to a point where. You know, you have a craft. You got. You're gonna be constantly learning it. Yeah. You know, it's always gonna be a learning process. Yeah. You gotta keep looking so, back too. So you, even mm-hmm. if you feel like, oh, man, I'm not where I want to be, just take a look back and be like, okay, cool, I'm for yep. the long way. Exactly. Like, I said this with Beach the other night too, and I'm yeah. gonna keep saying this to what Judge Joe Brown said, man. He said the way that you make money and you put yourself on in a mm-hmm. good position. He said, find something that you have a passion for. Find a way to make money from it. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, you got a time for <laughs> something. That's it. That's half the battle. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's like uh, crossing yeah. that barrier. Yeah, yes. exactly. Uh, and, and money yep. making money ain't about chasing the dollar. 
you just provide a service that people want and the money's going to come well you know yeah. one of my teachers man one of my professors bro he he said it you know i loved his class because yeah he was teaching paintings but he was just spitting game like you know, yeah. the reality of it and he noticed i was drawing a lot and stuff like that mm -hmm. and um you know it's funny he said one thing to me and it just stuck with me forever man and it was like so as soon as you sell that one thing you sell one thing you're a professional artist mm -hmm. you're professional anything mm -hmm. so you make a dollar off and that literally puts you mm -hmm as a professional because and you could argue like no nah, man I just didn't know if you did something with right. money it makes you a professional and, yeah and so it's a good feeling like you know the more you think about it like yeah you're right man and then that's like, but that makes sense the goal you know this at least something to get you in that mindset to kind of cross that to keep through. going yeah and it helps a lot even mm -hmm. now when I made my first couple bucks off some art I mean it might have been all it was for a long time <laughs> but still you know put yeah. you in there like okay cool yeah. like, or like i, I want to do this again it's, be, it's because if you said it and you might have said it, you're like hey, cool, i'd love to sell art someday 10 yeah. years later you did, you did nothing you know and if you did that all of a sudden you're like yes oh, matt it's bill it's oh, this, this easy i guess i was a professional yeah, drug dealer I mean, <laughs> yes this is bill <laughs> bill imbel gino yeah matt come on how man. do you not know you bill dude right. Even yeah, I knew Bill. Take them glasses off when you're in the house, man. I had a I had an old boss. His name was Bill, and uh, we always called him Billiam. Billiam. <laughs> <laughs> well, you put a question mark. Like, I know, right? You know what? Forget that, bro. You know what? <laughs> How do you <laughs> not know? Time in when we thought, you know what? Hold on. Let's go back to the... About your old boss. Let's go to Bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Bill, man. I know. I, I, what did you say? I can't see his face. Oh, that. Bendeja. Whatever. Uh... Um, Yes, there, dude. There's his face. That's Bill. What is it? I can't even read that. There, now I can see him. Hi, me. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're about to go. Uh, you, you get a good look. There he is. So, hey. What's up with the stars? Like, send 200 stars. Like, what's up? I, you pay to see a comment or something? Or no, I don't know why it does that. I took it off. I, every time I take it off, it pops up by itself. I don't know why Facebook does that crap. It only started doing oh, that. Yeah, same, right? So people could see like kind of like a donating right? thing. But yeah. I every time I turn it off and then I go to start it back up, it flips itself back on. Yeah, I heard that somebody sent you stars and it says send two hundred stars for Sarah. Yeah, bro. what's up? Sarah? It's dumb. It doesn't even work. But uh, but yeah, I mean Well um, what are you reading? What did I say? What'd you say? And Sarah Hibbert's still fine. Oh, I worked with her at LG. <laughs> she literally worked in the same line I did. She's awesome, bro. I like her. Yeah, I Sarah's, like her Sarah's cool. I like Sarah. Sarah's yeah, good no, she's people. cool, man. She's yeah. super good people. Man. I know. I've, I've known she her. She's never switched it up, man. I've known her since probably middle school days. No doubt. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah. Not thinking about it. Yeah, I've known her Do you remember Monica Thompson? Do you remember Monica Thompson? Oh man! I suck at names, but I'm sure if I saw the person, I'd probably be like, "Wait a minute!" You know, it's uh, weird because she lives across the hall from me. That was his chick. Yeah, we still on. We still on, bro. We get off subject, bro. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, I didn't know. I heard you say something like, "We're out," and then you come and then take them shades off. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> shades off. He had shades on like the, almost the whole episode. With the question mark. Yeah, Bill. Bill. Uh, what is it? it question mark. There? Yeah. Oh, it, it looks different on that thing. But anyway, all right. Well, we're gonna go ahead and call it a night. We went over a little bit. We're it's a little bit. Thirteen okay. minutes over, but it's all good. Uh, well, we want to thank Bill for being on tonight. We appreciate you. you. You know, again, your your work is awesome. Uh, oh, sure. I'm going to continue to share it uh, because, well, you're probably one of the best artists in Holland. We got you, we got Chris Garcia, we got, who else is out there that draws? There's a lot of artists. There's Holland. a lot of people. There's too many people to name. Well, your brother, Jimmy Jimmy English Jr., uh, he's good at what he does, One Rule Design. Um, I, met some, I met some people from around there. There's, there's a lot of art. It's all different types of art. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everybody got their own stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody I was just going to say that. You know what? Whatever craft you got, you're you're good at. Yeah, it the creatives, man. Yep. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. man. That's true. Look out, man. I'm looking right, I'm looking right at one right now. <laughs> so, there's Malik. We got Malik. Yeah. <laughs> Malik and Tracy. All right, let's go back to Bill so he can say his final, final line. Peace out. We always just say peace out. By the way, there it is. <laughs> Who's is it anyway? Yeah, exactly. 
All right. Well, everybody have a good night. We thank you for joining. We'll see you on Friday night. And just remember to the week of the 13th to the 22nd, we will not have a show because we'll be in California. So, all right. You guys have a good night.